Priam here from Niche Advice. Hope you're well. Um, in this session, we're going to talk about remortgages and your options when you're looking to remortgage or do a product transfer. So obviously, we're going through this pandemic at the moment. There's all sorts of mayhem happening within the mortgage industry. There's lenders coming out of the market, either pulling their entire ranges or reducing their ranges. A lot of lenders have reduced their loan to values. You've got underwriting criteria around um, uh, lenders being worried around affordability and job changes and furlough conditions. So there's lots of things going on at the moment within the lending community. So if you've got a mortgage coming up in the next four or five months um, where the fixed rate is, is ending or the actual terms ending, we really need to talk about your options now. And you've got to figure out how you're going to go about doing things. So let's look at the, the options really. When your deal is coming up for renewal, you've got a couple of options. Your first option is to try to see what you can do for the, for your, with your existing lender. So um, if you contact us, we will say, okay, well, we'll look at what your existing lender will offer you as a product transfer. Now, the benefits of a product transfer rather than doing a remortgage is they're essentially just switching the rate for you. Um, there isn't, potentially, there is no un additional underwriting because the case was underwritten when we first apply, or if you might have done that by yourself. Um, and then what you're doing is you're just switching the product. The good things about a product transfer are, at the moment, specifically, there is no valuation required. And that's the biggest hurdle right now because the values are not going out and seeing properties. They're not visiting properties. They're not surveying the properties. So a lot of the higher loan to value cases are just stuck. Um, they won't do anything. They'll do, they're waiting for the values to look at them. Now, there has been huge changes in the market in the last week. For example, lenders like Halifax coming back into the market uh, with 80% loan to value maximums. You have got one or two other lenders that will do 85% remortgages, um, potentially more likely on houses than flats. Um, so that hurdle has gone away. If you do a product transfer, we can do a product transfer for you and we don't charge for product transfers at all. So we can do a product transfer for you, which means you don't have to go for the survey. Um, so, it, you know, it worked out on a desktop valuation basis. So whereby the, the lenders will almost put a value uh, in line with, with, with inflation and how much the market has gone up or come down. So they'll give you an automated valuation, which means they don't have to send a survey around or actually do a valuation. They're just doing it electronically. The second benefit, and this is one that no one really is talking about right now, is solicitors and legals. If you do a product transfer, there is no legals involved. You are literally switching a product, okay? So at the moment, the biggest problems, a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of people that have been offered, they're having problems, and I get emails all the time with them trying to get hold of solicitors. Solicitors, like many others, are now working from home, a lot of them, which means, you know, if you're a firm of a 100 solicitor, you've got one or two people going to the office, picking up all the mail, because a lot of things are still, legal documents are still need to be hand, hand, hand signed. So they're picking up the documents, physically going and scanning things and distributing it to all the solicitor firms and the solicitor employees. So that's that's causing huge disruption within the legal process. So um, if you have had a mortgage offer at the moment or you've, you, you're thinking about getting, getting a mortgage, doesn't matter who the, which the solicitor firms are, a lot of them are having problems. So even if it's not your firm, even if your firms, you can come back and say, well, Piam, my firm's a small firm. I know they're okay. But what about the other, other size legal firm? Okay, often uh, if it's free, free, value, um, free legals on a remortgage case, for example, you know, they're giving it to these big supermarket type um, law firms that have got thousands and thousands of cases going on. And at the moment, if you've got a lot of volume cases waiting for it to be offered, it's going to take time. So product transfer deals with that. So the benefits of the product transfer are no valuation process, no legal process, no underwriting for a lot of the, in terms of affordability for a lot of the, um, uh, a lot of the cases that good, uh, we've seen. However, these are the lending policies. We as brokers, we still will have to gather your documentation. We still have to do a basic affordability check to find out whether the, the mortgage is feasible. Um, so we will do that. We will still um, do your proof of ID, proof of address, and an update of, of a fact find just to get your circumstances in place. However, we, at that time, we will give you, um, you know, we'll give you our advice whether it's good to go to a product transfer based on your circumstances 
or you're actually in a good position to go for a remortgage. So let's look at some of the disadvantages of a product transfer. One, the rates are typically higher than a normal remortgage. Okay, so you're not often, uh, and it's not all the time, but often you're not getting the best product out there. You have to stick with your existing lender. In terms of um, uh, in terms of product choice, obviously you've only got that lender's product choice. You haven't got the whole of the market to go with, um, and you know those those are generally things. And in and in terms of um, how it works uh, for a product transfer is normally when your when rates comes up, normally about four months before uh, we can apply for a product transfer. Now this is a bit depending on the lender. Some lenders will say right when your rate comes up on that date we will switch you to the new product on the new rate. There are a few lenders though that will say, look, if you apply four months before, we'll allow you to switch four months before essentially, if you're gonna stay with us, okay? So again, that you know that could be a big, if you're on a big high rate from historical, let's say a five year fix from five years ago, and your rate is coming up, that four months could be a you know, could be a difference because a five year fix might've been three, four percent back in the day. Maybe you didn't have as much deposit, now you've got a lot more equity. And now you're going for a, uh, you know, maybe one and a half percent rate. So that four months could be a big difference. So again, we've got to work that calculation out and see if it's if it's worth your while. That's why it's so important you go via broker because these bro brokers will have access to both options and can actually weigh up your options. OK, so that's that. So in terms of a remortgage, why would you go for a remortgage then if it's, if, if it's all hunky dory on, on, on the product transfer, transfer side? If you've got a lot of equity in your property, and I would say 25, 20%, 30%, 30%, if you've got a lot of equity in your property and your deal is coming up, then you know the chances are you are better placed to go for a remortgage. Okay. And if especially if you've got some time, so you know, you've got four or five months to deal with things, then it's not so it's such an urgency on the legal side of things, because we get your offer, let's say, within a month, month and a half, and then we're ready. Okay, so that, that side of the legal side goes away. Um, 60, 70% loan to value, pretty much all the lenders at the moment will do a desktop valuation. Okay, like I said, we have got lenders that will go up to 80 now, 85 sometimes, but let's just, you know, the run of the mill, I think 60, 65, 70, those type of loan to values, pretty straightforward and offers are being produced quite quickly because there's no valuation to wait, wait for. So that's where I would go for it because you'll get a better rate. We got some time, deal with things. If your circumstances around your income and everything are okay because there's going to be a lot more stringent um, affordability checks especially around overtimes bonuses that you may have had furlough conditions at the moment are coming through so some lenders are only honoring 80 percent of your income um, so that side of things if you if you think you're okay on that you've got a sustainable income you're okay in a job it hasn't been hit you've got a lot of equity in the, in the property then probably worth going, you know, exploring the remortgage option, okay, because there are some fantastic deals out there. Lenders still have to lend some money, okay, so which means the rates would be keener, okay, um, so that's where you go for a remortgage. Also, more importantly, is product transfer is a like for like, so you're not changing things, okay, so you're not, you know, say you've got a mortgage of 200,000, you can't do a 300,000 pound product transfer, you could be done, but what normally happens is you do your product transfer and then you put in for a further advance. Now that further advance will be, you'll be working out affordability as if it was a new mortgage, so as if it was a remortgage or a new mortgage. So, and they may or may not ask for a um, valuation because then your loan to value might have changed, okay? So um, uh, generally what happens is if you're looking to borrow more, you tend to have more options uh, to go down the remortgage route. Okay, because product transfer is only a like for like. So if you're looking to borrow money, maybe do up your house, maybe debt consolidation, whatever it is, then typically you would uh, go down the remortgage route. So those are the two options. Uh, as, as niche advice, we don't charge for product transfers. I don't believe in it. I think um, we should be able to help all clients, whether you've been our existing client or you're a new client to us. Um, we will we will give you that option and we will do all the research in terms of what's better for you okay um, and i hope you found this useful there are lots and lots of changes happening on a daily basis in regards to remortgages product transfer rules and affordability rules from different lenders so one thing i would say is 
please speak to a professional whole of the market mortgage broker before you make a decision because these are uncertain times and getting quality advice is going to be vital. Um, I hope you found this useful. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, and for, the, for those of you who have already done so, thank you so much. Please share our videos and hit the bell icon to get a notification. It really does help us get up to the uh, Google rankings. Appreciate it. Thank you and stay safe. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker before applying. Niche Advice Limited is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.